Sorry. Okay. Go. Hey, this is Nick T. I'm Gil. And we're from Circle Research. Circle Research. Circle Research. Circle Research. Circle Research. Circle Research. We're in downtown Toronto today filming our new EPK. Or electronic press kit for the new album Gardner Express. Which is named after the highway that we're standing in front of right now. I guess we've been DJing together for about 16 or 17 years now. And what, making music probably 15 years? Yeah. Basically half our lives I've yeah. been with this guy. The Circle Research sound is sort of a... A mix of electro soul meets boom bap with a smoked out analog digital vibe. Which is inspired by a lot of the music that we listen to. Which includes hip hop, soul, funk, disco, electro, indie Hotel, rock, psych, Godelic, bossa nova, batacuda, fucking gamelan. <laughs> Playful fighting, silky kisses, afternoon. Squeeze your hips, but not to rub. Hold you close, never enough. Cotton candy, boys. And yeah, but when we DJ, it's a bit different. I mean, of course, it depends on the type of event we're playing. We tend to play a lot of groove based music, and you know, we like to mix it up. But our specialty, we come from a hip hop background, so everything that's kind of related to that and influenced and sampled and inspires hip hop is kind of what we're into. We only play music that we ourselves like, but at the same time, you have to read the audience and you have to know what's working and what isn't, and I think that's a huge part of being a DJ. Records are still really important to us because... Well, I mean, we, we sample records, that's one. Mm -hmm. We're DJing the records. And that's kind of our, our, where we came from, our, our sort of our root. Originally, we got into DJing, or at least I got into DJing because, you know, I got into a certain music that wasn't readily available. So you start buying records and digging for records, and then you want to play those for your friends and make mixtapes. So that naturally progressed to us doing the radio show and the desire to like want to play these this different kind of music for the public, you know? Oh yeah, Circle Research. This is the Circle Research show. Very special EPK edition. We got Astro on the mix, and of course, this is Love Nick T. This is a uh, so research. Eleven years going strong. Has it been that long? It's been that long. The podcast um, sort of gives us an opportunity to do our thing in the comfort of our own home, whenever we please. We do it every two weeks. So yeah, we got a new album coming out. Gardner, Gardner Express. Express. But this is where all the radio magic started here in the basement of Ryerson University, downtown Toronto. In fact, behind this door is where we used to do our radio show every week for about nine years out of the 10 years that we did the show. Now, obviously now it's probably a broom closet. It's locked. Who knows what's up in here? Man, that feels like it was like ages ago. Yeah, it is really weird. Plus, we're really young. We're just a bunch of punks listening to rap in the early days. Thank you so Nick and I grew up in Etobicoke, which is a suburb just west of Toronto. So if you actually follow the Gardner westbound, you'll head the East Mall, which is where we both grew up. Because we went to different high schools. Guys at my high school, me and them break dance, and they lived in his apartment building. So I guess they break dance and messed around. So we basically just started all practicing together and then make a break dance crew. That's how we eventually just decided to make a circle research. Like it was like a DJ production crew way back then. significance of Gardner Express to me and Gil here is basically when we were younger, we'd be coming in from the suburbs, you know, downtown Toronto on a Friday night or a Saturday night, listen to the hottest tunes on the on the car stereo, blazing an L, 
all excited to go to you know, the party that, you know, or wherever our destination is. Yeah, school's out for the week. We don't have a care in the world. We're 17 years old and we're going downtown to the big city to go to a hip hop jam. And that's sort of the feeling that we got when listening to the music yeah. of the new album. Yeah, we hope you get the feeling, we hope you enjoy it. We hope that, you know, you listen to it while you're driving on the Garden Express to your favorite party. <laughs>